Alrighty, so as promised on our previous YouTube videos and our Instagram account, we are going to present a counter argument. So everyone knows we are a speculation and rumors channel, and we want to counter some of our speculation and rumors sometimes to allow for both sides of the argument or speculation to have a say. So in today's video, we are going to discuss why Ziz or Gold Rush won't be a Giga Coaster. So as you know, in a lot of our videos, we've discussed the possibilities of this being a Giga Coaster, um, but we have expressed that we strongly don't feel like this will be the case. And in today's video, we are definitely going to discuss the reasons why. There are definitely a lot of great reasons as to why this won't be a Giga Coaster, and we're going to discuss it. This is not a video saying it isn't going to be a Giga Coaster, and this isn't a video saying it's going to be a Giga Coaster. Um, we are just going to present the other side's um, arguments as we've received over Instagram, and I want them to have a say in our videos as well. So a lot of you know that I've discussed the length of the lift hill being a possibility for a Giga Coaster. Well, let's look at that a little further. So when comparing that to Leviathan, Leviathan is roughly 120 meters long at a 37 degree angle. That is why it's quite long, it's only a 37 degree angle, um, but one could suggest that we don't fully know the angle of our lift hill. We do believe the angle of the lift hill is 45 degrees, we've seen it in a couple of locations that would suggest that, and our lift hill length is approximately, let's say 80 meters to 90 meters max. So one would assume if it's an angle of 35 degrees between 35 and 45 degrees that this may not be a giga coaster after all and bring its height down into around the range of 250 feet um just to throw in a little extra knowledge there behemoth is roughly 90 meters long of a lift hill at a 37 degree angle and that brings it to 230 um, feet tall we could be looking at around that height range for our new dive coaster so that's just a little diving into the length of the lift hill argument a little further. It doesn't prove anything, it doesn't disprove anything, but let's go into a few of the other wild theories I've thrown out there. So the ascent of the lift hill, we kind of just discussed that. We don't fully know the ascent of this lift hill. We used a program called CAD to figure out the ascent of the lift hill, and we saw some other things that would suggest it's 45 degrees. And for this kind of an argument, I personally do think it's 45 degrees. Um, which would bring it still higher than Valraven, but does not make it a Giga automatically. So the ascent of the lift hill fully relies on the length of the lift hill, and the length of the lift hill is pure speculation at this moment. We do have a rough idea of its like length that we've seen, but we don't have the full um, accounts of where the straight parts are on the lift, so it could end up being 80 meters long, which would bring it down to about Val Raven's kind of territory. Regardless, this coaster is definitely going to have a larger drop than Val Raven. That I can almost guarantee. I don't want to fully guarantee because I don't want to mislead any of you. But let's go to the pull out of the drop. This is an argument I've been using since the beginning. So the pull out of the drop is definitely around the size of Leviathan. And at first, I was using this as like, um, kind of like backing to the speculation and rumors of this being a Giga coaster. And it's a fair assumption in most cases, but one could also argue that the length of our pullout is only that long for specific reasons like to get to its next element over Vortex. Vortex is in the way, so maybe it needs the extra long pullout to give it extra time to crest over the Imolin loop and back over Vortex into another element. That could be a factor as well. That also brings me into the bolts on the track. So this is one argument that I used, and in fact, I did provide the wrong information. A couple of readers sent us in pictures of Val, Val Raven at other parts of the coaster where it did in fact have 10 by nine and 10 by 10. It all depends on the stress on the track at that moment. So I appreciate you guys sending me pictures and um, advice and uh, you know opinions along the way. I will definitely correct it when I can. So again, just because our coaster has more bolts at the bottom of the drop, it could just mean there's a little more stress in there, or it could be in fact because it's also underground. So that doesn't necessarily guarantee a Giga, or larger than Valraven in that aspect as well. So we're going to go into the number of columns. Now this is an argument I can't really, or I don't have much to say on. I don't have a counter argument for this. So we do know that our coaster has more columns than Valraven, that I can guarantee. That I know for sure. It actually has quite a few more columns 
and support sorry support columns than that to Val Raven. It also has a lot more footings as well. Now one would assume that automatically means it's larger than Val Raven by a lot, and it would need a lot of extra speed to get through the layout. Well, that's not necessarily true. It could be the same height as Val Raven, but not have a mid-course brake run which reduces its speed by a lot, like other dive coasters, and it would simply just make it through a longer layout by maintaining its speed that it gained from the drop and other elements along the ride. So this doesn't fully guarantee a larger coaster than that to Valraven. Now I'm going to talk about a few other concepts. So those were the most popular theories I used to discuss the Giga Rumor. And again, I, I'm using this platform to give everyone a say. I want this channel to be not just a rumors and speculation channel. I want everyone to have like their opinions and speculation heard as well. I really want this channel to not just be me saying, this is gonna be a Giga Coaster, everyone believe it. No, no, never. Definitely feel free to comment in my videos down below. Send me a message on Instagram if you disagree with me on anything and participate in control my videos on Instagram. I want to hear every side of the argument. That is not the kind of channel I'm gonna be just dictating what I think something's gonna be and forcing you guys to either agree with it or like feel like you're excluded from an opinion. I want your opinions in all of my videos as well. So let's get to Val Raven. Now this is a great argument in fact, and this counters a lot to what I have to say. And it actually leads into the next point as well. But Val Raven is at Cedar Point. Val Raven holds the records right now for a dive coaster. And a lot of people would argue that why would you dis, um, take away Val Raven's records so soon after it just being built. Val Raven's still a newer coaster for Cedar Fair and Cedar Point. And why would you give the records to a place like Canada's Wonderland that has its own records to beat within its own country? There really isn't much purpose or need to take away from a major park in the US to give it to a less major park on the North American scale, despite of how well it performs. The park doesn't necessarily need a record-breaking coaster to do well. So one would argue that Cedar Fair doesn't really have that extra push or oomph, we'll say, to give Canada's Wonderland a record-breaking coaster. And if they were, why would they need to go from 223 feet to 300 feet? That's a big jump. So one could argue that there really isn't a need to burst that giga bubble so soon on the dive coasters and maybe leave that up for a park down the road. Maybe Carolyn's will end up taking that record down the road like five to seven years from now if they were to ever get a dive coaster or another park as well like Kings Island or any other park in the Cedar Fair chain. Now that brings us to Wonderland and Canada. Wonderland is located in Canada and beating records in its own country is very easy to do, thus pleasing the public and creating that awe effect with the general public is easier to do than that in the States. So building a dive coaster with the Giga title isn't really something, again, that the park needs to do to wow the crowds. Canada, um, again, as I just said, is easy to beat with records and Wonderland doesn't really hold any record-breaking attractions on the global scale. So one could suggest that Cedar Fair has never been looking at beating records in Canada on the world scale and more so going after the records in Canada instead of, again, the world scale. Now let's get to theming and the expansion. So we know with this coaster, we're probably looking at a massive expansion and maybe I slightly over exaggerated that actually. It doesn't look so massive, but it's getting an expansion. It looks like a whole themed area and theming for this ride. We see it right there. There's a lot of weird things happening with this coaster. And one would assume if they're already spending a ton of money on theming and a, an expansion like the Canadian theme, we don't have that extra funds or the need, again, to build a Giga Dive coaster. Building something like Val Raven would suffice with this park, and they don't have that extra, again, push to do something so massive when they're already providing a newer refreshed area providing theming and guest experiences in the park at this new area and coaster. So why go the extra mile? Um, again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think. Are you on Team Giga or are you in the middle or are you just, this is gonna be smaller than Val Raven? I wanna hear from you guys down below. Give the video a like, share this video for others to give their opinions. Anyways, again, thanks so much for watching my videos, guys, and head on over to Instagram to participate and control my video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.